going to take some. I'm going to take some of the desert yellow that we base coated and undercoated the uh, piranha with, and I think I'm going to put in. I'm going to try one drop. We might need more than that. So that's what they call a three to one ratio: three parts Avalon Sunset and one part desert yellow. So let's see how that goes. That's a drop of that. I've added a bit more paint, obviously, so I'm going to need a little bit more water just on the brush, just to fill the brush with water, is what I would say. And then I'm going to stir that in. Now we're looking for a, a fairly dark mustard yellow. Don't know how easily the camera is going to be able to pick up this colour, but. Fairly dark mustard yellow. Like I say, this is my interpretation as well of the uh, Taos colour scheme. It's not necessarily how uh, Games Workshop do it. This is me having a go. And you should never be afraid to have a go. I think I'm quite happy with that. We'll try that. We can always darken it down a little bit if needs be. So let's bring the model back up. Uh, same brush I was using before. Just the, the base coat brush for this and we'll see how we go. I'm going to put a little bit on, see what I think. Mm, yeah, too much paint on my brush, but that's about the right colour. I'm going to spread it across. This top bit. The thing I'm trying to avoid here as well is it to end up looking like some kind of bumblebee yellow. Because <laughs> I might put a little bit of camo on this. That blotchy, dark camo. I don't want it to end up looking like a bumblebee. So, I think that's a pretty good colour, actually. I'm fairly happy with that. Like I said, more than one coat, I think, but the colour itself is okay. Maybe a little bit brighter than some towel, but Bright colours aren't a bad thing. Brings the tabletop to life a little bit, some bright colour. And what I am going to do as well, with this is I'm going to leave these parts down the bottom. Well, not these parts. Uh, these sort of ridges down here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to put a little bit of this colour on them to show that the light is hitting down there. But I want to leave a little bit of the desert yellow either side of this brighter yellow going into that recess. Uh, the dip on the bodywork, not the actual gap. Just to show that there is a colour transition there. And then uh, what we're going to do with this bit is actually bring this brighter yellow up to the part that, if you imagine, would be closer to the top. So if it's like that, then this bit is going to be closer to the, the light than this bit. So I'm going to pull my brush in the direction that I want the paint to be brightest. Which I can show you at the end, but it's going to be a bit difficult to see what I'm doing if I'm showing you as I do it. But all will become clear momentarily. We want the transition as well, so here it's now lighter up the top here than it is down the bottom there. And we want that transition so that you can see that there is a change of colour with the light. Some people do say that yellow is a bit of a tricky colour to paint, and I suppose it can be. But the biggest mistake with that, I think, is um, the colours you're using to shade it. Because I think a lot of people, when they're starting out, will try and shade yellow with a, a black, usually, 
and it just ends up looking like a bit of a mess. No offence, as long as you're enjoying it, that's the main thing. But for realistic shadowing on yellow, the best colours to use, you can either use a brown like we did with the Griffin Sepia, uh, like a kind of reddish brown, or again if you've seen Remain's uh, colour circle videos, a purple is very good for shading yellow. And if you want to know what I'm blathering on about rather than go into all the detail because it is quite a, a long process, um, Remain has got I think it's eight videos on the channel, on the Beasts of War uh, website and on YouTube um, about colour theory. Very, very in-depth uh, look at colour theory. So if you want to understand, maybe I suppose you'd say the complexities of colours that work together. Well, I definitely recommend giving it a look. Again, as well, with the mixing of the paint, like mixing paints together, I remember when I used to read um, White Dwarf magazine, or any company's magazine, really, uh, No Quarter, um, War Games Illustrated, anything like that, and people would talk about mixing colours together, and I'd be ever so kind of daunted by the idea of having to make my own colours, um, and I would try and avoid it, which, again, if you want to, is fine. Um, but, like everything, after a little bit of practice, it's really not too difficult at all. And there's already, in all the ranges you look at, hundreds and hundreds of colours you can use. If you do start mixing your own colours together as well, all you're doing is giving yourself more options for how to paint the miniatures. Which is always a good thing. You can see here as well, quite well, the transition there. Right, let's have a look. That's pretty good, yeah. Now, I'm just going to finish this up a bit with a fairly chunky, but still a line, just along the top of this, I don't know, scanner, gun, whatever that is. Again, towards the front, because that's the part I want to stand out, that's the part I want to be brightest. Um, oh, I want to do one of my little lines along the sides to show that there's some light hitting down here, I nearly forgot that. Again, dragging it up to the part I want brightest. What I'm going to do now is mix up a lighter colour to paint along just these edges, the raised edges there. Hmm. What I'm going to do, I think, is scoop up some of this and put it to the side here, now I'm pre-mixed colour. You could just use, I would think, uh, the Avalon Sunset if you wanted for this. Oh, can't actually see that, there we go. Then I'm going to take some Games Workshop Shabti Bone. And I'm going to mix that in with the Avalon Sunset, we'll call it. But even though it's got a little bit of desert yellow in there as well. Um, if we say that's two parts Avalon Sunset, let's go with about this much of the bleach bone in there. Mix that up. Just so it's a bit uh, lighter. And then, again, thin it down, consistency of milk or soup. Uh, 